Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter, where we are here with our Badger family and they're looking hungry, so we can't waste time with this intro. Let's move. We're here in the dark and I do remember this part. We have to try and find food if we can, which there's food right here, but we also have to be careful because these guys are going to start spooking and um, oh my goodness, let me feed the baby. Let me feed the baby. This one looks hungry. There we go. <laughs> um, these guys are going to start to get spooked and uh, run away and so we got to be careful and ready to keep up with them so that they don't get into trouble um oh just like that just like that so we run with them we run with them okay calm down calm down calm down okay we're gonna actually go back a little ways because i hear food up, or i hear a frog up there but there's food right here and we really really need it so let's go ahead and grab that and, uh, but yeah, but basically we, we gotta stay with these guys. We can't let them get stranded alone in the dark or we're gonna have a big issue. So let's keep going. And it sounds like there's a frog up here somewhere. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, wait, there we go. Did we get it? Got it, good, okay. <laughs> I thought we weren't going to for a moment there. Okay, I'm gonna feed, not, not you, you. You can have it. Okay, you're one of the ones who's hungry. Um, you can see they fade a little bit when they get hungry, and so the more we can actually feed them, the better. Alright, let's keep going. This is not the difficult part for me, though. The difficult part for me has been with the eagles. And, uh, we got through the first one, but, uh, as you guys probably can predict, that's not the last we've seen of this eagle. Okay, so they're gonna keep running. We just gotta stay with them. Stay close to them. And eventually they'll calm down. There we go. They're calm, they're safe, and we're good. We just gotta keep it moving and be really cautious. Okay, I hear, I hear another frog and I see another turnip up there. I see, I think a couple things of food actually. And nope, at least the, oh, there are two, okay. So let's feed you. And we're gonna come over here. And we'll feed you. There we go. It's a carrot that time, it looks like. Okay, so everybody should be back to full health. We had a little bit of a fiasco where we got a little bit, um, we got, we got a little bit slowed down when we were trying to deal with the eagle, and, uh, we went the wrong way last time, and that did cause us to have a little bit of problems, and, uh, it caused these guys to get a little hungry, and that's not something we want to see happen. Uh, we don't want to see anybody get too hungry and just uh, start to starve, because that would not be a good thing. So, let's keep it moving. Everybody's gotta stay close. We just gotta be careful. If we go this way, we should be able to find another frog soon, probably. The music here is kinda creepy for sure. Oh, there! Get him, get him, get him! There we go, we got him, okay. And, uh, we should be good. Alright. Oh, I didn't actually know who got that, but, um... Oh, just don't leave anybody behind in the dark. As long as, um... As long as we don't uh, get separated, we should be good. Okay. Oh, oh no! Why are they going this way? Oh, no, 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 no. Stay close, stay close, stay close. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're good, we're good. So wait. Did I go the wrong way? No, I think we have to keep going this way, right? Man, I am not good with the directions this time through. I do not know why. Is this where we just were? No, I think this is the right direction. I think we're going the right way. There's, there's food here that we haven't eaten, so I'm gonna assume we're going the right way. I am terrible at directions with this, and uh, the fact that this has a linear uh, a linear route you're supposed to take is not necessarily the greatest for that. I'm good with the games where you can just run around and uh, you'll eventually end up where you need to be if you keep going, but with this one, you can go the wrong way. You can get a little bit stuck, and uh, that's not a good thing. As long as we follow carefully, um, and we don't let anybody get separated so i think we gotta go this way now come on we can do it just keep it going keep it going we're gonna be all right we got more food all right we're gonna grab this i'm gonna feed someone i think you've been eating more food than your siblings uh, but as long as nobody's looking too hungry we're fine because food will fill them up all the way i believe okay let's keep going just very very carefully here they're gonna run again soon, I'm pretty sure. Yep, they're going this way. Okay, we're going back this way with them. Alright. There we go. We're good. We're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> we just You just have to kind of anticipate when something's gonna scare them and then see which way they're gonna run. 
And I certainly hope I'm not going the complete wrong direction again, because that would make me very, very sad if I was. Alright. We're going... This isn't where we started, is it? Oh my gosh, is this where we started? No, there's a way this way. Okay, we can't- we're, we're not- we're not lost. Okay, I know where we're going. My terrible sense of direction has not failed it- or has not, uh, has not caused this pro- I guess failed? Has not caused this problems yet? It hasn't acted up yet. Um... Okay, I think we keep going this way. It looks like this is the only road to take, so we're gonna keep following it. Just follow the stream through the night. And we should be okay. Oh, they're gonna run this way, okay. You just have to wait to figure out when you hear the snapping sound, you gotta figure out which direction they're gonna run. And as long as you can do that, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything that actually will kill them in this level aside from the darkness. Um, I think if they get stranded in the darkness, then they can actually die. I've never actually lost one in the darkness, but I imagine there's a reason for that mechanic, and I'm just gonna leave it be and not try to find out what it is. Um, but as long as you can kind of, um, as long as you can kind of stay close to them, you should be fine. I don't think there's any other predators that'll run in and try to steal your babies. Uh, like, I don't think there there's eagles in this or anything that uh, we need to be super worried about at the moment, at least. I do hear another frog. And I do see more food over here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab this. And I'm going to feed someone who's looking a little hungry. Which will probably be one of these three. There we go. You can have that. Alright. And you're full health again. So let's keep moving. I think we got to go around this way. Alright. I do hear... I hear a frog somewhere. So... If we can catch up to it. If it's up here. It sounds like it's up here. Oh, there it is. Get him. There we go. Got him. All right. Oh, and they're running. What? What? Wait a minute. What? Are you serious? That just happened. Oh my goodness. That was just barely outside the light, too. Haven't they been farther than that before? Oh my gosh. Well... I was just saying, we hadn't lost anyone in this part yet, and apparently you can, so... Yeah, it looks like this will probably not be the last time we play Shelter, because we still, uh... Still want to try to get through it with everyone. And thus far, we have not managed to do so. It happened while we were hunting, and I think I was just a little bit slow to react to it because of that, but... Like... That's a frog hopping around. I thought I heard something following us. So it's when they run that they are in danger, but it doesn't, I guess they, it can happen. Cause I thought they had gone a little bit further. I thought you had like a few moments. Cause normally with a, like in shelter two with something like that, you know, with the fox or the eagle or whatnot, you have a few moments to, uh, to save your, your baby. You have, oh, they're running this way, okay. They have, you have like a, a couple of seconds before it, before they actually die. You have a little bit of a chance to get in there and rescue them. But I guess with this, it can be absolutely immediate. So you really can't let them get outside that light at all because you may not have a second chance. Uh, that might be it. I'm pretty sure it didn't happen immediately. I'm pretty sure I'll have to go watch the footage again because I'm pretty sure we had them get a little ways ahead of us before and it didn't actually uh, immediately take one. But, uh, because we got them back in the light pretty quickly, but I guess it can be immediate, so you really cannot let them out of that circle at all. Otherwise, you could be in for some pretty big trouble. Wow. Well, <laughs> the more we go on, the more we learn. And, um, the more that, uh, the more, the more that we, oh gosh, this part. Oh, I don't like this part. <laughs> The more we go on, the more we learn, the better we get at this game, even if it means some failures along the way. 
but uh, I am a little bit bummed out that that happened. That was certainly not what I was hoping, and I thought I had that part down. I guess that serves me right for getting cocky, so... Yeah, you guys, this is why you don't, um... That's why you don't get too arrogant with these things. You don't, uh... Don't, don't ever assume you know it all, because there's always something that... It, that that'll come back to bite you, but... And, um... If you start assuming you're, you're fine, that's when something will happen. So, never assume you're fine, guys. Never assume you're fine. Always assume that something unexpected could go wrong, and that way you'll be prepared for it. <laughs> wow, I sound like a royal pessimist, um, but with this, this sort of game, it helps. Um, and I guess, I mean, it doesn't hurt to be prepared for bad things to happen even in life, but you don't want to dwell on them so much to the point that you just get depressed and frustrated and assume that everything's going to, uh, everything's going to go downhill all the time. Uh, you want to be ready to deal with it if it does, but uh, don't always assume that it will because there can be good times too, okay? So, this guy... Oh, I should have stayed closer. Okay, he's... Let's sneak up on him. We're gonna real slow. He's getting ahead of us now. He's running this way. Alright, I'm gonna try and chase him down. He's probably gonna see us though. Oh, he actually didn't! Okay. So you don't have to be as sneaky with these guys as I thought you did. But yeah, I guess that's a lesson learned, is to prepare for the difficult times and be ready to face them even if they do surprise you, but don't assume that everything's always going to go badly because that's just going to frustrate you in the long run. So, let's uh, go ahead and we'll feed the babies here, and we'll move on, and uh, we might have to stop in the middle of this level. This one I remember being kind of difficult to complete. Alright, here, feed, feed baby, there we go. No, don't take food from baby, feed baby. Feed baby. There we go. The controls in this when it comes to dropping food are a little bit, uh, a little bit tricky sometimes. So it looks like the way we gotta go is across the river. Great. Alright, so you see those waves will come through, and there's kind of a, there, there's a shallow spot where you can cross, and those waves come down the fall looks like that, and they'll sweep you away if you're not careful. So I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna wait. Feed the babies probably well. Okay, so here, it's gonna teach us how to do that. Oh, we can shelter behind the rocks too. That's right. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go. They're not still stuck. Okay, so the rocks will protect you, but um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't like this level for a reason. Oh, there's foxes here. Okay. So, we might be able to catch one. I don't know that you can catch them here. Um, or I don't know or not, because they kind of just run on ahead like that. So, I don't think you really can catch them. I think they're kind of your guides at this point. This pair of foxes here. Alright, hey, come here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna arbitrarily... I kind of arbitrarily feed them unless somebody looks specifically hungry. So, you can see the foxes are up ahead and we're still kind of following them. I don't know that you're really meant to kill them. I think they're kind of just your guide through here. And they're kind of leading you along. And kind of giving you a direction of where you need to go, I'm pretty sure. So, let's keep it moving. Maybe you can catch them, I don't know, because there is... But see, they're already running off. They're running off that way. They run when you're so far away here that I don't know if you actually really can catch them. I don't know, have any of you guys ever caught the foxes in this point? Or are you just, are they just supposed to kind of lead you in the direction you're supposed to go so that you don't get separated and lost? Um, Alright, because there's lots of food too. That's the other thing, as you can see there's a fair bit of food here. And we should be able to just smash that up. And feed. I mean, I guess that is the one good thing about it makes it every time somebody every time somebody dies, it does get easier because you don't have to worry about feeding as many. It's kind of awful, but at the same time, that's uh, that's why a lot of animals in real life will have large uh, large litters so that there's a better chance of at least one of them making it through. And uh, the less mouths you have to feed, the easier it is to care for them. So yeah. Uh, there can be, uh, there, there can be benefits to having less babies, which, uh, 
It's not what we were hoping for, but uh, it might give us an easier time further down the line from a survival standpoint. Let's keep moving. The foxes went this way. We're going to continue to follow them because hopefully they know what they're doing. Hopefully they know how to get out of here, and I think they must have crossed the river up ahead here because it looks like there is another crossing point here, maybe? I think there is. Alright. Alright. Oh, no. oh it's, a, it's a log. Okay. So yeah, you can see them on the other side there. So you've got to be careful because, um, otherwise that, oh, and you actually can see it goes down to that's the other crossing, so we're going to let these waves go through. Oh, there's fish jumping out of the water, too. All right, now let's go quickly, 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 hurry across, hurry across. Oh, the waves are coming. Oh, hurry, you guys. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, all of them are fine. I think, I don't think you can necessarily die to the waves there. But, uh, nevertheless, it is still pretty darn scary. Okay, you're looking hungry. Go ahead and eat. There we go. That should give your food back up. There we go. Your food's good again. And we gotta keep it moving. Just gotta keep going. <laughs> it gets trickier, you guys. It gets trickier. Okay. Oh, they found... Oh, it's one of those headbutt trees? Yes. There we go. Alright, that gave you food. <laughs> It's stuck in your head. There we go. You got it. Okay. So, let's come over here and we'll be ready to go. Waves are going to come momentarily here. So, alright, there they go. Alright, run, 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 run. This is the crossing point. This is the crossing point. This is the crossing point. Hurry, you guys. Hurry, you guys. Oh, the wave is coming. Oh, come on. Oh, don't lag behind. You're going to scare me to death. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, well, we're all right. We made it. And then, oh, this is where things get scary hard. Okay. All right. We're going to do our best to get through. I'm going to let another wave come. We have to make our way up the fall, or up the river here. So it's going to come around that corner. Now what we do is we run. We run up here. We run and we hide in the corner. All right. Everybody stay here. Stay close. And be ready. All right. Another wave's coming. Here we go. Oh, man, and it does, it does, you can feel it shaking. Okay, let's get up here. So it will knock them downstream a little bit. Wait a minute. <gasps> okay, we've got all four. It looked like we had three for a second. Okay, the wave's gonna hit us here. We're all right, though. All right, let's run this way. We can hide right around the corner here. And I think it's mostly if they just completely get swept downstream. So this, it looks like the shadowy area here, I think, is the area that's a little bit safer. Oh, okay, no, 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 okay, we're not, we're not doing it this time, I'm gonna go next time. So the shadowy area here, I think, we're gonna test that theory, is the safe area, okay? So, if we, as long as we're in the shadow, we'll be okay. Alright, come on, come on guys, come on guys, come on guys, oh goodness, okay. Alright, we're okay. Alright, run for the other shadow here, run for the other shadow, we gotta hide and be safe. We still got four, we're good, we're good, we got everybody. Alright, this is the really, really scary part, you guys. This is the part where I worry I'm gonna lose someone. Okay, come on. We can do it. We can do it. So I see the next shadow up there. I see the next shadow. Waves are coming. We'll be alright. Okay, now we gotta run again. No time to stop and dry off. Just get to the next shadow and we'll be okay. At least the waves come at pretty regular intervals. So we should be we should be safe as long as we... Oh, we gotta actually go around, though. Oh, man. I think we actually have to go around here to get up. I might have to take one, one chance where I just run like this. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's right here. Alright. And that's the way out. That's the way out. Okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was so close, you guys. That was so close. Alright, ever be across? We're good. We're safe. We've made it. All right. Let's keep it moving. I see. Why is there so much grass area here? What am I hearing? I'm hearing birds. Is this like an eagle area? I don't think this is an eagle area. That's that's coming up. <laughs> All right. You look hungry. Um, I definitely hear lots of screechy birds. I don't know why. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa, 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 okay, that's you guys. I thought there was a fox for a second. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit frightened of the foxes still. I'm not entirely sure that, um, they're not going to attack babies. And so I'm being a little bit cautious here. Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna keep going. We're almost there. All right, there's... Oh, do we have to cross more waves here? We might. All right, head by the tree, head by the tree. And I think we might have to cross some more waves up ahead. So, let's see. All right. It looks like there's one more crossing ahead of us. I'm pretty sure, yep. Of course we're not... Of course we're not... Uh, of course we're not done yet. Of course we're not. They they couldn't let us be done this easily. We have to we have to cross one more time, although that was the really scary stretch right there. Um, and there's a frog up ahead here that we can probably grab. Can we get it? We got it. Good. There we go. Alright, who's looking hungry? I'm gonna say you probably. Did you? Yes. Alright. There we go. Alright. Go, 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 go. We can hide in the shadow. Hide the shadow. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Hide the shadow. Hide the shadow. Hide the shadow. Where are the waves? Woo! All right. Now go across. Across, across, across quickly. And we're good. All right. We might... I don't think we have to do this again, though. I think we're finally past the Raging River. I think we're finally, finally safe. For net. Well, as safe as we can be. In this game, you're never truly safe. So, there we go. And it looks like we're on to the next region, out of the frying pan, and quite literally into the fire. But unfortunately, you guys, we do have to leave off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.